Hello friends, Azana Eddie Thompson here for Advent Hero Ministries. Uh, you're welcome to 10 days of prayer. We are praying for 10 days and we are going to pray uh, because according to the Apostle Paul, the times are getting more perilous. We need to pray for God to cover us, to fill us with his Holy Spirit to protect us from the evil within and the evil without. And so I invite you to join us every day here on this channel as we pray together. I want you to know that God is ready to answer our prayers. So every day as we pray along, you can leave your prayer request in the comment sessions. You can make your comments. And as we get along, God is going to lead us all the way. He's leading us all the way. Our theme for this program is Seeking Reviver. What a theme it is. We need to seek God like never before. God has told us that he, if you seek me, you will find me. Okay? And the Bible is saying this. If you read Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 it says that if we believe that God exists yes then if we seek him he will reward those who diligently seek him we need faith to seek after God we know that he is and he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him as we seek revival these 10 days our lives will not remain the same our topic today is Jesus' precious gift. We're going to read our key scripture from Luke chapter 11 verse 13. But before we do that, let us bow our heads for prayers. Our Father in heaven, we give you glory. We worship you. We praise you. We pray that you be with us and bless us now. Anoint my lips and bless us real good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture once again comes from Luke chapter 11 verse 13. We read, If ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? The Bible is very clear that God will give his Holy Spirit to them who ask him, to them who pray and to them who seek him diligently. The Bible says we should seek God while he may be found. There are times in which he cannot be found. When the rain started falling, it was too late to pray. When Lot had left Sodom, it was too late to seek God. But today the mercy of God is with us and we need to seek him like never before. We need to ask him for the Holy Spirit and we need to ask consistently. I want to say that this passage is actually part of the answers that Jesus gave to his disciples. They came to him. If you read from verse 1 of Luke 11 down, they were asking him, Master, teach us to pray. They had observed his life of power. They saw that he lived in an atmosphere of miracles. They saw that daily he received fresh anointing to, to go over the day, to answer witty questions, to perform miracles and bless people, to go about doing good. And they wanted this same power in their lives. And they asked the Lord, teach us how to pray. And then Jesus responded by teaching them what we call the Lord's Prayer. And actually, it's actually the disciples' prayer because the Lord's Prayer is found in John 17 where Jesus prayed to his Father. That is his prayer. But this one he taught us is the disciples' prayers. He told them to pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. After Jesus finished, you know, giving them this prayer format, he then went on to tell them a, a short parable, a story. 
he told them that there was a man who actually came to his friend at night. He came to his friend and he told his friend, I have nothing to give to somebody who had come to visit me. You know, the power in this story is that this man was not asking for himself. And so in these 10 days, we're not going to be asking selfishly. The Bible has told us, let me read a quote here. It says, God does not say ask once. I'm reading from Christ Object Lesson, page 145, Ellen White. God does not say ask once, and you shall receive. He bids us ask unwearyingly, persistent prayer. Pers the persistent asking brings the petitioner into a more earnest attitude and gives him an increased desire to receive the things for which he asks. We are told to ask. If you read the passage we are dealing with, the Bible says even when it was dark and it is not really convenient for him to rise up and give his friend, the Bible says because of his importunity, that is persistence, we need to pray without ceasing like never before. Talking about Jesus, Ellen White says in, in Signs of the Times, November 21, 1895, she said morning by morning, he communicated with his Father in heaven, receiving from him daily a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit. So as we pray daily, we will expect a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit. We need to pray that God will bless us. James chapter 2, verse uh, uh, chapter 4 rather, verse 2. He says, Ye lost and ye have not. Ye kill and, and desire to have, and cannot obtain, ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Verse 3. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it in your lusts. This is selfish asking. In the parable we just talked about, the man we said was not asking for himself. And we're going to ask today. God is saying we should ask for the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to pray with you right away. I want you to join me in the spirit of prayer as we seek the presence of God. We're going to see God like never before. So we're going to pray the scriptures. So today we begin with the key scripture we quoted, which is Luke 11 verse 13. We're going to pray that God will give us his Holy Spirit. So bow down your heads with me as we pray. Our Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. We thank you for having interest in our lives. We thank you because you love us. You sent your son to die for us. And you are willing to give us your Holy Spirit. So help us today and bless us. Pour your Holy Spirit upon us and fill us with your presence. We have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Another scripture that we want to pray with right now is John 7 verse 38. And it reads, He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Rivers of living waters will flow from you. So let's pray that God is not only going to bless us, but he's going to use us as a blessing. So God wants us to know. Let us bow our heads as we pray now. Father God, we thank you. We know that the reason why you want to give us the Holy Spirit is not for selfish reasons. It's not to punish our enemies, as some would think. It is so that blessings will flow from us to others. So we pray that this river of living water, the Holy Spirit, this precious gift of Jesus, will flow from us. Thank you for hearing us today in Jesus' name. Amen. We need to pray for some other needs. Let's pray for our nation, Nigeria. We are praying for Nigeria right away. Let us pray. Father God, we give you glory. We worship you for Nigeria. 
We pray that you will bless Nigeria. We pray that you bless the other nations of the world. We pray that you bless the African nations, the European nations. We pray that you will help us and we pray that you will bring peace. Many people still need to hear the gospel. We pray that you will make it possible for us to preach the gospel, whether online or offline. We pray that the spirit of war that will lead to the one time taking of life, Lord, we pray that you will restrain it. We pray that you will give leaders, both in the world and in the church, we pray that you will give them wisdom. Thank you for hearing us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to pray right now. We pray for the church. We pray that all the local projects and international projects that the church has, God will be with the church and bless the church in her mission to reach the world. Let us pray for the church and the leaders of the church. Father God, we give you glory. We worship you. We pray that you will bless us and help us. We pray that you will bless the church. The church you have said the gates of hell will not prevail against. We pray that the gates of hell indeed will not prevail. We pray for those you have put in place as leaders. They need your wisdom. They need your power. They need your anointing. We pray that you will anoint your children and bless them. Thank you for your goodness and mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we are going to pray. We are going to pray. You are going to have a time to pray for yourself. Pray for your needs. And God who sees from heaven will not, will not, uh, but answer your prayers according to his will. Yes, friends, let us bow our heads while you pray for yourself. And I'm going to pray for you also. Pray for something. Pray for something that is important to you. Something you want God to do. Let's begin to round off our prayers. Father God, I bring your son to you. I bring your daughter to you. I pray that you will bless the viewer right now. You know what they have asked from you. We pray that you indeed, Lord, we show that you are the one who has encouraged us to ask and that we shall receive. And to seek and we will find. As we seek revival this day, we pray that you will revive us. Give us your Holy Spirit and bless us and take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, thank you for praying with us. We, we pray that God will continually bless you and, and actually uh, lift you up. We pray that God will himself bless your family and bless your business and bless your health. God himself is the one who will bless you like never before as we pray together these 10 days. Now share this video, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments, your prayer requests at the comment section and God will bless you in Jesus name. See you tomorrow.